My name is Justin Ahastein. I'm the executive director for the Navajo Nation Washington office. It's an office that's located here in DC, serving as an extension of the executive branch of the Navajo Nation government. I am white, born for big water. My maternal grandfather was white and my paternal grandfather was Hopi. I come to you from White Cone, Arizona, where I was actually uh, placed. Um, today is a very historic day. As many of you may know, the Supreme Court has ruled in our favor for Brackeen versus Holland. Uh, I'll be honest, in the last few weeks, it's been a, a very um, event-filled and caused a lot of dread on my staff to uh, identify a lot of the uh, the different hearings that were coming out week after week and monitoring to see if the, uh, the Supreme Court had made a decision. But now that we know that ICWA has been upheld, it's been a huge relief, not only to my staff, but to the Navajo Nation and Indian country as a whole. Um, and really, what we understand here is that the Supreme Court is holding up a precedent that they are in charge of protecting Native Americans, especially from their own people. During the late 19th century and early 20th century, the federal government had policies of assimilation that were meant to eradicate Native American culture. But we have since then persevered and we continue to protect not only our children, but our legacy. Thankfully, Congress did pass ICWA in 1978, putting, a talk, uh, putting an end to the toxic legacy of forced assimilation and forced removal. And that's particularly important to me because I'm not only Navajo, but I'm also a product of ICWA. At a very young age, I was taken away from my mother who was incarcerated, and my father was also incarcerated at the time. And the state had no idea on what to do with me and my younger brother. Once they learned that we came from a Native American background, ICWA protected me and allowed me to return home to my people on the Navajo Nation. My aunt then took us in and started raising us, and now my aunt is my mother. So this law shows that it does work it does protect us. And it's very important to me, you know, being a product of that because I get to keep my heritage, I got to keep my culture, and I got to keep my identity. And that's nothing that I would trade. So I applaud the Supreme Court and the decisions. I look forward to working with other organizations to make sure that the future of ICWA is protected at all costs. And from the Navajo Nation, I want to, uh, on behalf of President Nygren, also extend an appreciation to all of our federal partners and our uh, tribal leaders and uh, tribal organizations for continuing to work together uh, because it shows that once we do come together that we are a force to reckon with and we will continue to put those interests of our people at the forefront. So thank you. Akeha.